Now what we can look at is the stoichiometry of electrolysis. How long do we need to do it? How much current? All of these things can be calculated. And so what we look at is basically how long we're going to do it and how much charge we need to supply for this reaction to occur. And so what we want to remember is a couple of things that we're dealing with with the units. We're still looking at units and seeing how they compare to one another. And that's ultimately what's going to drive the setup for this stoichiometry calculation, just as the units drove the calculations that we did earlier on when we were looking at reactions in uh, looking at amounts of reactants amount and amounts of products. So a couple things that are, we want to point out is one, uh, 60 seconds in a minute, that's obvious, an obvious one. Amps, remember that when we introduced the idea of amps, we talked about them being coulombs per second. So we know we have coulombs per second, so we can write that out and we can expand that unit. So now we see coulombs in seconds, so now we're seeing seconds can cancel out. This Faraday is 96,485 coulombs per mole of electron. That is a relationship that is always true. That's how much charge there is per mole of electron. When we continue on down here, we'll deal with how many electrons we're actually having in our half reaction, but this value, the 1 mole per 96,485, is always going to be true. This will deal with how many electrons we have per mole of our substance, and then we can convert that to grams. So what we look at is we have our 60 seconds, Okay, we know our current, which usually we're given a time and a current, and we're figuring out the mass, or we're given the mass and working in reverse. But we can use these relationships. This is a constant. We can get this from the amp, coulombs per second, and then we get this from the half reaction, and then this, of course, from the periodic table. Let's look at an example of how we would use this. Calculate the mass of aluminum produced in one hour with a flow of 10 amps. Now before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and make a little note here that this 10 amps means I have 10 coulombs per second. That way I don't have to worry about later on where the amps fits in there. I've got time and I've got coulombs. I'm looking at the mass of aluminum, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my 27 grams per mole for aluminum. I look at my reaction, I see I've got three electrons, so that tells me I'm going to have three electrons per mole of aluminum. And then I also have to worry about my time, and I'm not going to write out those conversion factors. I hope that you know those by this point in time. And so we're going to start here. We're given an hour, and that's where we're usually going to start is either with the time or with if we're given a different type of problem with the mass at the end. Remember, we're probably not going to start with amps because that's a compound unit. It's kind of like starting with molarity, but that has really means moles over liters. This really means coulombs per second. So I'm going to start up here with one hour, and then I want to get that to seconds because I see that amps is going to be coulombs per second. So I know that one hour is 60 minutes, okay. and my one minute is 60 seconds. So that gets my times to my time to seconds, and so I can cancel out hours and cancel out minutes. Now I've got seconds there. Now I can use my current there because I have 10 coulombs per second. So now my seconds cancel and now I'm left with coulombs. Now I'm going to use my Faraday's constant which I know is 96,485 coulombs per mole of electrons. So now coulombs cancels with coulombs. Now I've got moles of electrons and I know that for every three moles of electrons I have one mole of aluminum. and I'm running out of room so we're going to bring it down here. And so I can see that moles of electrons cancels with moles of electrons. And then I can use my molar mass. I've got moles of aluminum on top so I take 27.00 grams per mole of aluminum. And now my moles of aluminum cancels and I'm left with grams of aluminum. And what I find is I get 3.36 grams of aluminum. So the stoichiometry is set up much like we did before. The big difference is now is that we have the coulombs per second here, so a little bit different, and our Faraday value here, 96,485 coulombs per mole of electrons. Remember, this is always true. We'll take into account that this has three electrons per mole in the next step. So this is always per one mole of electrons. 
Just like any other stoichiometry problem, we look at our units. We started with our time. We did not start with amps because it's a compound unit. It can be expanded to coulombs per second. We cancel out what we know or the units that we can get to. Cancel out everything until ultimately we get to our grams of aluminum, which is what we want for our answer.